She's a cranial psychotherapist, an executive director, and Eric Dino. <laughs>
being on the path of this business, was tonight you're going to see we have the annual awards banquet, and one of the things that Aranda recognizes is recruiting. And they always have the top 10 recruiters in the company. And I heard George share this fact, and so I had Elaine even check this out for me this year. This is a few years ago, I think I heard George say this. And it actually is it's true this year too, the same number. The top 10, the average number of people that are recruited by those top 10 people is five, four to five people. Four to five people. Can everybody go like this? Five people. <laughs> five people a month. If you were doing five, recruiting five people a month, you would end up most likely being in that top 10. And that doesn't sound that hard to me. I don't know, Camden, what do you think? Five people a month? You've cool. done it. Yeah. You've done it. Definitely. Okay, so I want you to know that for me, and this is one reason um, I'm being sandwiched in this piece that Bob is doing about your vision, for me, standing here in front of you today as a third of a millionaire definitely started with a decision that I made before I ever heard the word Arenda, or I took an Arenda product, or do anything about Arenda. And it was a decision that I made in the early part of 2003 that I wanted a different life, and I wanted a better life. I did a personal growth program where we had to do this visioning process, and I'd, I'd never done anything like that. I'd done a lot of therapy, but I'd never done anything that was about looking at where I wanted my life to go and what I wanted my vision of my life to be. And it was a lot of writing and it was a lot of um, you know, vision boarding where you took pictures and put them up and looked at them every day. And I intensely focused on this. One thing I would say is I'm, I'm good at visualizing. And uh, you know, when you do something well, sometimes you don't realize that other people don't. So I appreciate that everybody might think they're good at visualizing, but use pictures. You know, if you can see, you can look at pictures and you can do visualizing that way. But I focused intensely on this vision. And I would say that is really when everything started to change for me was it was the decision. It was a decision that I made to have a better life. That was that was the turning point for me. Down the road it was the decision that I was going to use Orenda to be the vehicle to get to that better life. That was another decision that I made. I made a very important decision when Dr. Rubenstein laid out for me why I needed to buy that manager pack because I had no money and I was in debt about $30,000. And when she said, you know, this manager pack is going to cost at that time $6,100. But I made the decision that the only way I could do that was to buy it and sell it so I could get my products at the wholesale price. <clears throat> And that was a decision, and I tell people that a lot. It was a decision. I was going to sell it. It wasn't, oh, I don't know if I can sell it, or what if I don't know enough people? I had to sell it. I had to have that money back so that I could pay for it. So making decisions, for me, I, I know I've heard this about successful people, but really making the decision, and those three decisions were very important for me to get to where I am now.